Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve example 11.3 from Sadiku book. So the question is for the circuit shown in figure 11.3, find the average power supplied by the source and average power absorbed by the resistor. Okay, what is average power? Average power can be calculated using this formula here. Okay, let's rewrite the formula first. We will have B is equal to one half and then the real part of the voltage multiplied by the current conjugated okay now what do we have here we have the voltage here the voltage is equal to five and then the angle will be 30 degrees and the unit is volt Okay, so we have this part here. But what is I conjugate? We need to calculate that, right? By the circuit. Okay, I is here. So we will have, this is also I, right? And we can calculate this I by using Ohm's law. How I is equal to the V divided by the impedance there. Okay, and what is our voltage? Our voltage is 5. And then the angle will be 30 degrees. And what is the impedance? In the impedance is just the sum of this resistor and this capacitor here. Because they are in series, right? So we will have 4 and then plus minus J2, right? Or we can just write it 4 minus J2 good so we will have i what is i uh i think we need to use calculator okay let's reset our calculator and set it up as complex calculator which is this button here and complex is number two okay and we need the fraction here and we will have five and then the angle will be 30 degrees good and then the impedance will be four minus j2 or we by this 2i right and so we will have this but this is in fractional so i will need this okay let's write that we will have zero point what six one six six one six and then what plus zero point nine three three the J, I forget the J. How? Okay. So we'll have plus J. Okay, the unit is in ampere, but usually for I, we use the angular form, but I just leave it as is here. So we can calculate the conjugate easier. So I conjugate, we just flip the sign here. So we will have 0 0.616 minus J 0 0.933. And the unit is ampere. And so we get all the component, right? We have I star here or I conjugate. Okay, let's calculate the P. So we'll have P is one half multiplied by the real part of P. P is five angle 30, five angle 30 degrees. And then I is this one here, I conjugate. So we'll have 0 0.616 and then minus J 0 0.933. Good. Uh, and so we will have one half and then multiplied by the real part of that one. Let's see what can we get from here. I think we need calculator. Let's set this up as complex calculator number two. And let's do that. Five and then angle 30 multiplied by the quantity of 0 0.91. No, 616. And then minus 0 0.933 multiplied by I. 
Okay. Okay. We will have. I think we can just write five here. Five. And then minus J25. 25? 2.5. 2.5. Okay. And then what is the real part? Remember that this is the real part. And then this is the imaginary part. We only have need the real part here so we will have one half multiplied by five so the p will be 2.5 and then the unit is one right okay however this is only the first part of the question this is the average power supplied by the source we need the another average power but this is average power absorbed by the resistor okay let's do that and let's up the let's clean up the slide first okay let's continue okay we need to find out the average current average power not average current average power absorbed by the resistor so we need the voltage here because we already know the current which is this one right here right and i think we can just use ohm's law here for calculate that let's use black so the voltage in the resistor is just the resistor four multiplied by i right and what is the i that one so four multiplied by zero 0.616 plus j 0.933 okay let's plug that into calculator 4 multiplied by 0 0.616 plus 0 0.933 and i so we will have 2.464 2.464 and then plus j 3.732 3.732 okay the unit is 4 good now we have p and we already have i conjugate right so we already have the value that we need okay but i need some space so let's erase this first okay we already have all that we need so let's just plug it into the formula one half multiplied by the real part of this v here we will have 2.464 plus j 3.732 then multiplied by i conjugate so I conjugate is this one. We have 0 0.616 minus J point zero nine three three, And all good. And so we'll have one half multiplied by the real part of this messy numbers. Uh, just use calculator for that. We'll have 2.646. Huh, what? No, 464 plus 3.732, yeah, I, and then multiplied by that one, 0 0.616 minus 0 0.933, I. Okay, we will have 4 point, oh, we can just write 5, right? It's almost 5, just 5. We don't have the imaginary part, so this one is just 1 half multiplied by 5. So what is P? P is 2.5 watt. So this is the power absorbed by the resistor. 
this one no no i use gray here so let's just also use gray okay so the answer is this one 2.5 watt and then 2.5 watt so there is no power absorbed by the capacitor hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation okay thank you see you in the next video bye bye